This is David Holt, IV Consultant. Going to have a brief chat about Keppra and other anti-seizure medicines given IV piggyback. Unless you want to be rushing into your patient's room to deal with a seizure, it's very important that you give the entire dose of your Keppra. It typically comes in a relatively large volume and it also for some bizarre reason, is generally prescribed to be given over a fairly short period. Perhaps the short period is based on it often being needed in an active seizure situation, but the rate often ends up being 400 cc's per hour, which typically will blow a peripheral IV. However, many of our seizure patients are so fragile that they have a central line, so blowing the central line is almost impossible and 400 cc's an hour is generally not a problem. Programming the pump however to give the full dose remains a problem because most nurses, about 93%, do not grasp the concept that you must program the IV pump's volume to be infused for much more than is in the IV bag. So if your Keppra comes in a 200cc bag and is to be given over 30 minutes, that gives you a rate of 400cc per hour. But if you program the VTBI for only 200, you will have the overfill, which is in that bag, but doesn't contain extra medicine. There'll be an overfill of about 20cc still in the bag, plus your entire IV tubing setup will be full of the anti-seizure medicine. So you will have shorted your patient by about 40 to 45 cc's of seizure medicine, whether it's Keppra or anything else. And they'll be perhaps 25% more likely to have a seizure during the next six to 12 hours. You can get over that by using Holt's IV rule number two, which will be the volume in the bag, plus 10%, plus the volume of the, all the dead space in your IV tubing. And that will come to, for a 200cc bag, approximately 250cc to program into the pump, and then you should be able to get all of the Keppra into your patient. There is a second issue with Keppra, in that it doesn't always clear from the secondary tubing. And so you can be left with an empty bag, but the entire secondary tubing, even if you were to program the IV pump for 500 cc's, the secondary IV tubing would still be full of the Keppra. Perhaps its viscosity is high, perhaps, I don't know. But uh, I've written to the manufacturers of one version of Keppra without meaningful response. So please check your secondary tubing and if necessary, do a flush back into the bag and program your pump for another 50 cc's to, to help clear it. Or you can just squeeze the mainline tubing and watch as those eight cc's go down through and then you can let the mainline tubing flush it through. So please get all the tubing empty and especially that secondary tubing. That's it on Keppra. We don't want to be working through a seizure patient an hour or two after giving a Keppra dose.